Hello everybody. In this video I will take you through the last Simutech basic skill test in ELT 106 electrical circuits. As I've stated in previous videos, this is your worksheet. This is basically giving you the list of what happened and if anybody else has worked on it, which we listed here. This will fill up after you complete it, and it will list how much you spent and everything, so you know whether or not you spent, you were there too long, or you changed out too many good parts, and it will tell you at the end as well. It will also tell you the day it was done, and stuff like that. So, let us begin. Here is the circuit, and we will test the lights to see if they work. They should work by, if we press any of the on buttons, the lights will turn on, but none of the lights turn on. And the off buttons, we do not know if they work because since the on buttons do not work, there is no power to the lights. So let us go to reference schematic diagram just to see how this will work. So if any of these are clicked, and as long as these are not pressed, relay one will activate this guy closing this, the sealant, and this one as well. This providing power to both lights, turning them on. Considering though that the lights do not turn on when we press any of the on buttons, that leads us to conclude that there is something wrong with our power. So we will go to voltage first, put our black lead on ground and our red lead on fuse one. We have power to the beginning of the fuse. Do we have power on the other side of it? No, which is not a good thing because that means that our fuse is likely blown. So let's open up our breaker panel, turn off our power, lock out, and verify dead. You must make sure you verify it is dead because if you try going to put stuff on there, it will ding you for it. And if you don't turn off your power and then you go disconnecting stuff or putting a meter set to ohms on here, it will basically fail you on your assignment. So now that we have removed power, we will go to our screwdriver, remove fuse part two, put our red lead on one side and our black lead on the other. We are testing resistance straight across point and we have no resistance whatsoever. That means that we have something either, sh something has shorted, causing the fuse to blow. The fuse operated just as it's supposed to to protect the circuit from too much current or not enough, no, from too much current flowing through it. So let's check our black lead onto ground and our red lead on the, this part right here. Now we have no resistance testing whatsoever. Let's click an on button, see if we get anything. Nope. Let's go to the other side. Nothing as well. Because we have no resistance reading here, but we should not have any resistance reading, that is good. Because it's going straight to 1, which jumps over to 8. And if we look on our schematic diagram, we will see 1 here and then 8, meaning that it jumps power to here, which goes through to 3, then comes to here, which jumps over to 6. So we shouldn't get a resistance reading there. But if we go over to here, no resistance as well because nothing is closed. And if we close it, we read that. So just for curiosity, let's disconnect the on buttons. Nothing happened. So one problem that we could be having is our fuse. So let's go to our wrench and new fuse. Now, because we didn't get any resistance readings at all, I have a feeling, let's test this, that our fuse blew because it was faulty. So let's remove our lock, turn on power, and look, our fuse was the problem. So to conclude this video, when we tested for voltage, we got power to here, but no power here. So we turned off the power, tested resistance across the fuse, and found the fuse was blown. Upon inspection, 
Upon further testing, we discovered that there was no shorts anywhere in the circuit because they would have been visible from right here. We would have had to hunt for them were they visible, but it would have shown that there was a short. But because it showed no short and it was showing that it was giving us the correct readings, we we were able to conclude that the fuse was blown. I hope you find this video helpful, and this is the end of the basic tests for electrical circuits in ELT 106. Thank you.